Art Spiegelman, that great cartoonist from the US, he's described comics as like a very enlightened art form because he thinks they mirror the way most humans' minds work. Because we don't think purely in words or purely in pictures, we think in comics. Sam Warman is a cartoonist and comics journalist who's been making politically engaged work for the last 15 years. Drawing on the visual language of protest, Sam's work exists where journalism, art and activism intersect. He often works with grassroots social movements, putting his graphic skills to work in any way that gets the message across. It could be just like a very simple, shareable, static graphic, like a single image, or it could be a long graphic essay, or it could be a big, ornate banner. Stickers are good because you can just mass produce them really cheaply. Yeah, it's kind of limitless, really. <laughs> it's like a map of all the gay beats on the Yarra River. Sorry, Mum. Sam's latest work is called Our Members Be Unlimited, a long-form comic book that explores the history and philosophy of unions. There's just so much invisibilised history, this massive secret society that still exists and still affects everyone's lives, and there's so much misconception about it. You know, if I made a book about unions that was text, I think maybe like five socialists might read it or something, but, but it is a comic. It's like a goofy thing, it's playful, it's colourful. So yeah, uh, my whole project was like, don't make a school textbook, don't make a school textbook. Don't. So hopefully I've dodged that. As a committed unionist, Sam has a long history with those struggling for better working conditions. And in this book, we see his attempts to bring workers together as an employee at Australia's first Amazon warehouse. People like first-person accounts of things, like it helps people understand stuff if you've actually experienced it. But I mean, I can't overplay my hand because I did, I worked at Amazon because you don't make a lot of money as a cartoonist as well. So it was for research purposes, but also I've worked in warehousing a lot of the time since I was a teenager, really. It's not the first institution Sam's laid bare in his work. As a comics journalist, he's been nominated for three Walkley Awards and his comic at Work in Our Detention Centres, A Guard's Story, depicts an informant's experience of working for Serco, a company that runs immigration detention centres. There's a level of abstraction, so sometimes it can be an easy way to explore dry subject matter. Some work that I've done has explored places that we're unable to go, like detention centres or prisons or places you can't get photojournalists into and that even the workers aren't really allowed to talk about, so comics can be a way to try and visualise those spaces. Sam is also part of the Workers' Art Collective, a group of artists that create resources for working class social movements. We kind of live in a time when image supplants meaning a little bit, and so we have to be careful that we're not just making work for images' sake and that it's actually supporting something concrete going on. We make stuff a little bit nice and schmick and handmade, but not too bougie. I'm part of the world that makes this our life. Like, I don't have kids. Like, my commitment is to these movements, and it's a good way to live, I think. Yeah, doing what I can, which is not that much. It's just drawing pictures. I get too much credit, but <laughs> I'm just really grateful to have an outlet that is, you know, peaceful to do, to sit down and leave my rage on the page. <laughs>